In today's video, we're opening Konami's newest 25th anniversary set, Battles of Legend. What's up guys, we're back with another epic new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We have Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge, one that we have been anticipating highly. And the reason for that is there are 20 25th anniversary secret rares inside of this set. So far, the only 25th anniversary secret rares we've had in English have been the promos in the 25th anniversary legendary collection. So the difference here is obviously they're not promos, they're pulled in these booster boxes and we do not know the ratios at the time of recording this. It has been a long time since we have another ratios of a product. Technically last year in Battles of Legend, we thought it was one every two cases, but it was really one every one case. So they did switch it up a little bit, but it was the same rarity. Now we have a new rarity and we don't even have any idea how many we're going to be pulling per case. The speculation out there is more of like a collector rare ratio. So we'll be in like three to four per case. So that'd be like one every three boxes and one every four boxes, something like that. We're going to find out probably not in this video, but I will have more videos opening this set over the next couple of days. And we're going to figure out the ratios. Then we're going to be doing a live stream searching for, I think, the Dark Arm Dragon 25th anniversary. Well, let's not spend any more time. We do have a giveaway. I'm giving away every card we pull in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what card do you like the most out of this set. There's a lot of 25th anniversaries to pick from. Still five that we don't know. So could be some other big cards we don't know yet, which is pretty exciting. All right, I'm not going to spend any more time chat. Well, I will chat, but I'm also going to get to the opening because I know there is a lot, you know, a lot to talk about today. Uh, this is a pretty big set. Battles of the Legend usually does pretty well every single year. And then, of course, with these 25th anniversary cards it's going to be even bigger i am excited but i'm not going to lie the 25th anniversary so far they're a little bit weird they're a little bit more like uh you know they're they're getting like higher end reprints of like some stable cards like terraforming and like let, let me bring up the list again yeah there are some new ones like arm the armed neos is probably pretty cool i haven't actually like i don't remember what it looks like uh like dante's getting one i'm sure farfa's happy about that but there's some random ones and then of course we're doing reprints on cards like zeus and ip you guys know how i feel about that i'm not happy about about that reprint i just think it's a little bit lame i think it's a little bit cheap there's a lot of cards that could use a really cool rarity like this and we already have them in these other rarities so there's no real reason to do another version i just don't like it um so i'm not a huge fan of that happening but that is something that's happening in this set a lot of people or a couple people have asked if i was going to search for the ip mask arena i'm like absolutely not we've already pulled the real version you know it's not fake yeah i know i said i know people got triggered when i kind of implied that that one time i didn't really mean to say these were fake rarities but it's just like the lower end version of ip it's just kind of weird it's not something that i would want to search for and especially since we've had an epic moment you know pulling two in a case there's not really much we can do to improve that at this point. So I'm more excited about the new ones. There's a Teller Knight Tolmaeus that actually need a reprint. There's an expensive ultra rare out of Duelist Alliance. So it is going to be the third card, it seems like. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, so two from the back is what we will do. Uh, I don't know. As I said, don't know the ratios. I'm more excited, as I said, for like the new ones. Oh, we got a punk secret rare. So it's ultras and secret rares in here and the 25th anniversary cards. Uh, so I'm really excited about the dad. I think the dad's cool. It got a ghost share recently, but uh, it's the new Ghost Share, so it's a little bit iffy on if it looks that awesome, you know what I mean? I think this might actually be a better rarity. We'll just have to see it. Ooh, a secret rare Dark Hole. That's beautiful. Dark Hole getting a reprint, I guess. Is that being used? I don't know why that got a reprint. It's kind of weird. I think there's a lot of good Edison cards in here as well. Just in time for the big Edison tournament at Nationals, which is really cool. Final Cross, we have the uh, Punk Rising. And a Nightmare Corruptor E-Blade. This is a really annoying card, and it also needed a reprint from Flood. So that's good. I think it was like 20 bucks from Flood or something. Maybe it might have been 15. I don't know. But it's still pretty expensive out of there, and that's a really old set. It's like five or six years old. Might be, yeah. Yeah, getting close to six. Not quite there yet. We have a, what is this? The classic Karibo? <laughs> He's classical. All right, very cool. And then the golden rule. All right. What is the golden rule? Do unto others, you would have them do unto you. Yeah, there we go. We got a Yu-Gi-Oh card for it. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, do from the back. What else are we going to get? We got a Lamia. Very awesome. We got an Aratama. A lot of short names here, which is good for me. We have the uh, Punk Xeomon. That's good. The Punk stuff probably needs a reprint. The Exto Hydra. What is this? Is this from the fourth season? I feel like it looks like the, uh, you know, the cards from uh, the Darts era. You know what I mean? But I feel like we've already printed those, maybe. Maybe the reprints. I feel like that's a new card, though. Promotion. All right. The Pawn just became a Queen. Very nice. We got Baby Spider. We have Ghost Sleeper, the Underworld Princess. Praying Mantis. And the Dayorantanth, the Ooze Giant. All right. Day Durantanth. That is a long name right there. Two from the back. We have number 72. We have Don't Slip, the Dogs of War. 
the uh, Euro bonus. We have Donnell and a Danger Nessie secret rare. All right, that's pretty cool. Nessie's a nice card. All right, Danger Nessie action there. All right, that's a good pull. Two from the back. There's also a card called uh, Duality, just Duality. Not Pot of Duality, just Duality. We have Roshamon. We have Ghost Wyvern and... Oh, there it is! 25th Anniversary Rare! Number 92, Heart Earth Dragon! Hey, this thing actually got a reprint, finally. It's the first reprint since its original set. I think it's Cosmo Blazer, right? I don't know if this one was on the list. Do we just find one that has not been seen yet? Uh, it's not on TCG Player at the moment. There we go. We have revealed a secret 25th anniversary card. Now, I'm totally okay with this card having a 25th anniversary. That's super sick. Number 92, Heart Earth Dragon. And guess what, guys? You can win it. All right, all right. What a pull. Honestly, the pack art is pretty cool on here. That's the Gaia, the whatever his name is. Not the Dragon Champion, but there's been a lot since then. Wait, is that Dark Magician? Wait, is there a Dark Magician? That, wait, he is, wait, he is the, oh, Junk Archer, that's a good reprint. Dark Magician and, what makes Sky the Dragon? No, Gaia, yeah, that's different. All right, sick 25th anniversary pull in our first video, already starting off hot, we have Puppet Rock. I'm guessing they're not one in two cases if we just pulled one, but maybe we're just getting crazy lucky. Draco Berserker of the Tinny, that's a good card to have a reprint in Secret Rare. This is such a good set because it gives nice Ultra and Secret Rare reprints for, uh, you know, upgrades and decks and stuff. Ghost, and then when you get the 25th anniversary, there's a dad. He comes in 25th as well. We got the courageous Crimson Chevalier. All right, very cool. What else can we get? Can we get another 25th anniversary? Here we go. We have the Ghost Lancer. We have Don't Slip. The uh, Punk. The Volcanic Shell. That has a 25th anniversary, by the way, I believe. I think somebody said that. Let's see. That might not be on the list either, so maybe some of them have been revealed. They're not on there. Foxy Tune. Good secret rare. I think the Volcanic Shell is a 25th, which is a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. I know you Volcanic fans are happy, but that is a weird decision. <laughs> we have Performa Pal. I feel like there need to be more, like, really cool ones. You know what I mean? Mysterian Dragon Clown. Crown, not Clown. Like, I feel like we should be having some classic, you know, cards. Really, the only classic card is Dad, and that card's playable, so... I guess Battles of Legend is more of a playable set usually, so it kind of makes sense to have more of those playable cards getting those high rarities. Rocket Coder. But I was expecting like with 20, there to be like at least five really like old school cards, you know what I mean? And there doesn't seem to be really any, like at all. Like old school, old school, there's like none. Very weird. Terraforming technically an old school card, but it's still used to this day. So Dante, there you go, Farfa. So I guess that's the, you know, that's not really an old school because people are using Terraforming all the way till now, but it is a Ferrani Guardian card. Herald of the Pure Light, which is cool. All right, looking good. A lot of great pulls so far. I mean, this seems like a pretty solid set overall. Very, very solid. I'm wondering how many packs I'm going to need to open to get like a dad. I'm going to have to do the math, you know, with like 20 different ones, Shadows Light. So like if it is like one in every, let's say it's a collector ratio, so you get four per case. I would need to open like five cases to get the one. No, is that right? Four times 20 is 65 times 15 is 75. Okay, maybe not that. Maybe it's four, four or five. IP Masquerina getting a secret rare reprint. All right, it's original Prince's Secret, so they're reprinting the Secret Rare and the Starlight Rare. Very interesting how that works. Okay, let me know your opinion of that down below. I know a lot of you guys are okay with the reprints, but I personally am not happy with this. Carrie got an Ultra, that's good for Sprite, and then Sky Striker, that's awesome. Yeah, just let me know down below. It's okay to, it's okay if you're happy with it, it's okay if you're not. Everyone's allowed to have an opinion uh, about what you think about the reprints. Personally, you guys know mine, but it is okay if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. We have RGB. Rainbow Lucian. Uh, it's, it's really in the reality. It's going to be fine. You know, it's not, I mean, Chaos Impact, nobody was opening that anyway. Uh, but now you're definitely not going to open it, you know. <laughs> but not like anybody was opening it that much. Besides me, of course, I, I was opening it. We have a yeah, Medulce Queen Tiramisu. Is that the first reprint since the ulti and stuff from, uh, what is it? A Return of the Duelist, I think? That might be the first reprint. That's crazy, actually. That card was very expensive in Return of the Duelist, so that's probably why that has a reprint now. Uh, Puppet Pawn. Okay, we got Mathmech Equation. Mathmech's getting a few after they destroyed circular put it to one we have a uh, tolmaeus i think it's still probably a pretty good deck but circular is down to one okay two packs or two cards from the back we have additional mirror at level seven all right we got photon vanisher thunder discharge sprite smashers they're reprinting like the entire sprite deck which is pretty cool ible very cool maybe i'll actually get my sprite deck together now because i sold all my you know blues and stuff right away i think i have one ulti that i kept no i might have sold that too I, I kept it for a while and i was like i'm never gonna play this but now we're getting the reprint so maybe i will Link Decoder, not that I ever really play that much anyway. Try Edge Master, but I always want to put together decks and then never use them. That's what happens. We're probably into the second box by now, right? 
Okay, let's do this. We have Macrocosmos, Dimensional Fissure. Man, those are some annoying cards getting reprinted. Protection of the Elements and Book of Eclipse. Still five. No, I was going to say still five cards left. There's a lot more than five cards. Five cards per pack is what I was looking at. That just made me say that. We have the uh, Volcanic Shell and a Danger Nessie. That's another good pull. You guys can win a 25th anniversary today. That's pretty sick. That uh, that harder dragon looks nice. I'm not going to lie. We have the uh, guard. Also, it didn't like pop up on the sides like Starlights do. I didn't notice it right till we pulled it. Okay, we will be able to do some mega packs in the live stream now that I'm thinking about this because we can just do the third card. And uh, so we might have some cool mega packs on the live stream coming this Saturday. That should be pretty fun. I know you guys like those. We have the Sprite Smashers and a Terraforming Secret Rare. It's a nice printing of that. Did it ever feel like it had a Legendary Collection Kai the Secret, right? So it might be the second Secret Rare of that card. We have the uh, Sakata. Tama, we have ZMN, we have DDD, DDD, DDDD, Duality. This is actually one of the best cards. It's like 30 bucks right now. I mean, it's pre-orders. Gotta remind you guys, of course, uh, when you're seeing this, it's a couple days before it's live on TCG Player for any seller. So these prices are gonna be a little bit high for most stuff. Uh, they're not going to be what you're going to be paying in a couple of days, most likely. Sometimes they do go up. Welcome, Labyrinth. Already got a secret rare. <laughs> Did they just print that card? Oh, wait, that's the one from Tactical Masters, right? So I guess, how long has it been since Tactical Masters? I guess that was last year at this point, so that makes sense. It wasn't uh, Big Welcome, Labyrinth. That was the new one. We have uh, Punk and Synchro Zone. Cool. So a few packs left. Can we go two for two? and get to 25th anniversary. We have the Aratama, we have Ghost Lancer, Ghost Sleeper, we have Praying Mantis, and Sky Striker Mobilize, Engage. A lot of good cards being reprinted in here, guys. Hopefully you guys are excited for this new set. I'm certainly excited because it seems like there will be a lot of high rarity pulls or cards pulled, which is always exciting. Shadows Light Secret Rare, here we go. Will we get more? Will it be epic? We have Spiral Quick Fix. We have Don't Slip the Dog. We have Oren Bolnos. We have Danell and the Draco Berserker, the Tinny. Yeah, and on these, there's a lot of repeat secrets when you open a couple of boxes because there's not a ton of cards in these kind of sets. They're more of like a, uh, you're gonna get a lot of the same cards. We have a RGB Rainbow Lucian. I feel like we've pulled doubles of every secret rare so far, except Duality, which is probably short printed if we had to guess, because uh, that's what they do usually do with the best secrets, which is unfortunate. Might as well make a difference rarity in my opinion dark arm dragon and a dolce queen <laughs> all right we got it. all right one zoo we have catty corn numbers last hope the punk link decoder and a uh data rent data rent the ooze giant few packs left in this opening we've already had an amazing pull it's been epic. Our new openings recently have been crazy. Like the first two boxes we usually open have been like really good. Protector of the Elements and a Photon Jumper. I don't know if we pulled that secret rare yet. So a new card right there, maybe? Cool. 25th. Let me know uh, down below. What is your favorite 25th anniversary product so far? Foxy Tune. We've had a few different ones. All right. Is the, Do you prefer the Legendary Collection? This. Didn't we have one more? What was the other 25th anniversary? Why can't I remember it now? <laughs> Dimension Fisher. Maybe. Well, this is the first like main set with one. There's another Iblay. Iblay is not short printed, it seems like. So that's that's good, I guess. I mean, we don't really want people playing that card. It was annoying, but <laughs> numbers last up. We got number 65 to Gen Buster. Is it? Oh, there we go. This is the card. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. I didn't know this was in this set. So this is a new Dark Magician and not quite Curse of Dragon. It's level seven or higher dragon or warrior monster. Wait, why Why can't it be a warrior too? That's kind of weird. So somehow a warrior and a dark magician make this dragon out of nowhere. <laughs> that is interesting. Does that have a 25th? Because if that has a 25th, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Uh, you're, you're not getting the search if, if that thing has a 25th anniversary, which this thing better have a 25th anniversary. If it doesn't, I'm calling out Konami. I'm very angry at you, Konami. You've got to make that thing a 25th anniversary. And according to CCG player right now, it is not showing, but it also didn't show the one we pulled. So maybe it does. We're going to have to find out. One, two. From the back, we have Spiral Quick Fix. Blackwing, another spider. We got Sprite Carrot and a Dark Hole Secret Rare. Four packs left in this opening. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you had, have, haven't had. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, more new openings, more old openings, more epicness, more awesomeness, more amazing pulls. And hopefully it will be that dark magician thing uh, <laughs> that confused with a warrior and make a dragon out of nowhere. Baby spider, we have math mech, we have a sage of wisdom and Dante. Farva is going to be real happy. We've got to play set. What will we pull? Two from the back. It is a macro cosmos, Satellar Knight, Final Cross, the Punk Rising Carp. Terraforming again. And the final pack of the new opening. Here we go. We got more coming in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out on my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell if you guys want to be notified 
when I post my videos, 12 o'clock every day, basically, if you don't want to, you know, worry about it. Ghost Fusion. And an Assault Synchro. I don't think we pulled that one. So that is a new card in the last pack. That was a fun set. Shout out to Tom Flo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.